two, five, zero. It's my 250th video here on YouTube. Woohoo! Very, very nice. <laughs> and I love that it is a stage breakdown video from the 2016 United States Practical Shooting Association Area 6 Championships. Uh huh. Yes, indeed. These went over so well last year when I did the breakdown series videos from the Area 7 Championships that I thought I'd try it again this time around for this vlogging every day in April. And if you'd like to have more of the stages broken down from Area 6, let me know in the comments below. For those of you who are new to this channel, I'm Julie Golub. I'm a professional competition shooter. And one of the sports I compete in is called practical shooting where you do a lot of running and gunning with a handgun. And it is a ton of fun. I just got back from the Area 6 Championship, which is our Southeast Regional Event. So let's talk about stage eight. Stage eight was one of those hero to zero stages and it looked pretty simple. You had a fault line and after the buzzer, you had to step over the fault line, onto a pressure pad and into a shooting box where you had two arrays of targets. One on the left, just two targets, one a drop turner and a stationary target. Then you had to perform a mandatory reload and engage the final array of targets. Three mini poppers, one regular size popper, and another drop turning target. Now, the one thing that was kind of like, whoa, oh, okay, is the fact that normally in USPSA, each target requires two rounds each, but in this particular stage, they required four, which made the whole drop turner thing a whole lot more tense for a lot of people because they were very, very fast drop turners. For me, when I'm looking at a stage like this, I wanna look at the, the potential danger areas first. So right off the bat, the key thing with the drop turner that a lot of people forget about is the fact that it drops. And so they allow the recoil to rise up and they end up missing over the top because they're not driving down into that target. And so I really wanted to focus on making sure that I tracked my sights down and not up into the target as it went down and before it disappeared. The second target after the first drop turner is also a pretty significant target because a lot of people were so cranking on that first one that they kept the same speed up on target two, which was a stationary target, and they had really bad points on that one. So I really wanted to get all those shots off on the drop turner and then focus on getting good A's on target number two. After that reload, how was I gonna address the steal? This is a classic case of knowing your own ability level and how it can help you have a great result on a stage. If you were really fast, you could have swept right to left and try to get all of the steal before engaging the drop turner. It all depends on what your ability level is. Now, if you're new to the practice of shooting sports and you're looking at this stage going, oh my God, Gosh, I can't possibly do all of that. Something to keep in mind. All of those disappearing targets are disappearing targets, and so you aren't assessed penalties for misses. So if you don't feel comfortable getting all four shots off, just shoot at it twice or even just once. One hit on a target is better than none at all. Don't feel like you have to be super speedy in order to come out and enjoy these shooting sports because there is a place for everyone to come out and play. To learn more about the United States Practical Shooting Association, visit uspsa.org. Of course, huge special thanks to my sponsors for making it possible for me to attend the USPSA Area 6 Championships. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button. Uh, and if you'd like to know more about the stages from USPSA Area 6 and would like more stage breakdown videos, please let me know in the comments below. Until next time, be safe and have fun.